Good morning everyone. Okay, I'm going to demonstrate about attributes. So, use Notepad++. Plus plus. So, we're going to create the default constructions of an HTML. <laughs> a default construction of HTML. Okay, we have the start tag of HTML and the two parts of HTML, which is the head. Okay. Start tag of head and end tag of head. Two parts because we have the head and we have the body. Body and end tag of body slash okay. So before that, we're going to say this. So I will create a folder name with my name. This is my name. I named it with my name. And since it is a home page, so I'm going to name it as index with an extension of that which the end so as you can see we are going to save it in the text between colors so so this is the, this is the start tag of html and the end tag of html the two parts is we have the head the start tag and the end tag and we have the body which is the start and end instead of the head always we're going to put the title which is our title page so again i'm going to use the welcome okay. so, I will write two paragraphs. So today I'm going to write a two paragraph. So I don't want to type it because what you can get So I will search an article that compose of three sentences so that we do not take time to type and to think of paragraphs and sentences I search down because I love dogs, so let's do this one. Let's copy this one, and let's do this one. So here, as you can see, this is also a web page. So we have the fixed top uh, navigator. And with a picture, and a text, and a link. And okay, so soon you can create this one. Can create this one like this or better than this. So let's go here. So it's too long. So I'll enter this one and this one. Okay, another paragraph. So this one. Okay. Too long again. Okay. So we have two paragraphs. It's control S. Then let's go back to R. Browser okay. 
so we have two paragraphs. So now, um, where does the attribute is it? Uh, where does uh, where does attribute located? So attribute is located always in the start tag. You can never put an attribute on the end tag. So that passes as a start tag. And also here, the start tag of the body and the start tag of the piece and another element like bold or D or thumbs of I you can put a attribute an attribute of that tag. For example, in this page I'm going to put a background color. So this one so, um so my question is if we're going to put a color of this entire page, which tags are we going to apply? Is it the start? Uh, is it the body or the P? So, kung ato siya imagine niyo, kung ako siya i-imagine, kung kanina na piya itong butang attribute of background color, ang mahimo, kanina po ang mabutangan ang background color, not the entire page. So, we're going to use the body, since body is the body of our page. So, there is a magbutang of attributes. Attributes has two types. We have the name and the value. Okay. The name is um, if what, col uh, what color or what font family or font sizes or, or alignment. Those are the names of an attributes. And instead of that is the value. For example, body so this one is an attribute now. an attribute is always located in the style tab so it is style style is equals to quoted style because we're going to put color in our body so we have to type style and then the name of our attribute so background dash color then colon and the color let's say uh, I use pink and that's it I will use pink it's because feeling ako hindi siya sa pictures mata so if you put color in your web page make it sure na hindi sa pictures in your mata okay so let's save this one so we have a save button here at the end um, left upper portion of your notepad plus plus. Just click that one or control plus plus. Then refresh, reload, I mean, and or we're going to press F5. F5 or reload. So we will click the bottom page. Um, how about the paragraph? So I'm going to um, customize the paragraph 1. In paragraph 1, I will put an attribute of a paragraph 1. So, if it again it is located in the start tag. Okay, so, let's type style. It's because we're going to put a style and we're going to decorate our first paragraph. Okay. The first paragraph we're going to put uh, uh, we're going to change the font of our paragraph uh, one. So how? So it's font dash family and Jokerman. I will use Jokerman because I like the Jokerman. I will put another one. And changes the so obviously it becomes a joke so like slug fun this is a paragraph 2 it's because on paragraph 2 wala na ako so good na dapat yung fun family is like this so unless yung atong buta attribute si Tito na your fun family should be like this then most of the changes siya 
Now, what if kanisi paragraph 1 ako siyang um, butangag another style? Like, ako butangag siyang background ko lang. So, what I'm going to do is this one, before sa quotation, before I'm in quotation mark, ako siyang butangag ang semicolon which means to stop the first statement. Okay. I'm going to stop I'm I'm going to add another. So, let's say background dash color background dash color and say blue so since siya man ang pinakalas hindi na ko magbutang og semi color okay so let's save this one and reload so the blue so, if ako siya nang tawag, sakit ang blue sa black. Huh? Sakit ang blue sa black. So, what we're going to do is, we're going to make it as a white. Let's change our font color as a color white. The white, tsaka ako siya di highlight. Now, how to add? Matamala ko sa semicolon, which means to stop the statement and the color which is color color then colon and then type control s and then let's reload so maybe okay ma'am um ato is sentence siya so ato is sentence so let's add again text text Dash align colon and the value which is center. So we have the name text align and the value which is the center. Which okay. means can you add the center? Is yeah. In control S and below. So the name is center. And the part that we're going to customize also the paragraph 2. In paragraph 2, we're going to put a background color. So background, background dash color, and then it's wrong. We're going to write the style, and then it was the filtered one. Instead of that, we're going to put the name and the value of our attributes. So, let's have the background color. Background dash color, the name, and the value. We're going to put the value. Um, since it's color pink, um, what if the yeah, color is yellow? Yeah. Another one. Let's stop the statement. Um, we're going to align the text, which is the center okay. Okay. No. control s and okay. it's color yellow and it's center here in paragraph 1 a margin sa left ako will change and a margin sa right ako will change so how so in paragraph 1 is it Margin dash left. Or is how much? Um, say, uh, then PX. PX which means pixels. Then PX. Say, and it's wrong. Then PX. I'm going to so it's uh, 100 px, 100 pixels. Control S and then let's relate 100 pixels. Um, and another one, so let's say 200 pixels now. So 200 pixels, so let's run again. Here, in paragraph 2, we're going to change this one. Okay. 
Kuliah tu saya ikut situ sahaja. Anyway, okay, so let's have marching, march five. So mana tahu siapa yang tujuh belas tahun. So marching march five is costing two hundred PS per. And we're going to say go. So that's how we customize our um, text with an attribute. So in attributes we have two parts. We have the name, which is this one. For example, the fat family is the name, and Jokerman is the value, which means. Ang ato pan sa atong text is atong naman ko joke na. For example, background color. In a background color, we have the name which is background color and the value which is color blue. So that's it. So as of today, we're going to have a hands-on practice. Thank you.